All of us want to make some impact, all of us want to make some difference to change something. Otherwise, why would you be an academic? And so the question is, do you want to make a difference and how are you going to make a difference? And one of the ways is to go out and talk to people and say, look, this is what I've done, this is why it's interesting, and this is why it should change things. The work that I do began with an ESRC funded studentship uh, back in 1989 and through that work we began to understand that much of the conflict that we were witnessing in our research during crowd events was brought about by particularly aggressive forms of policing. So our interest then became about impacting our research to help the police to understand that in order to prevent disorder, that they actually needed to act in a different way, in a, in a less confrontational fashion. Through the work that we were doing, we were producing results that um, then enabled us to uh, affect the security planning for the European Championships in Portugal in 2004. And once we'd achieved that impact on policy, we were in a position to apply to the ESRC to generate funds to conduct a major study of the policing of that tournament and the implications of that policing on crowd psychology and behaviour. But we put an e-book together which was um, about um, some of the key issues at stake in the referendum. Uh, and in, in each of the little chapters we said, well that's what the, the yes side says on this issue, and that's what the no side says on this issue, and here's what you need to know in order to evaluate the claims each side makes. We didn't say yes is right and no is wrong, or no is right and yes is wrong. We tried to empower people uh, to, to make their own judgments better and effectively to inform their voting choice better. Uh, and, and I think the marker of the success of that is that we got over 100,000 downloads of that e-book. Uh, a, a level of readership I would never ever have achieved uh, with a physical uh, publication. When you finish your research it's all too easy to submit the article, get the acceptance letter from the journal hopefully and then move on to the next thing. But actually at that point, or even before that point, write the press release, send it around some people, talk to a university's press office and say, these are the things that are interesting from this. Do you reckon we can get some traction? Our team work on trying to look into poverty in a different way. From the very beginning, our goal was to do research that would move policy, talking with people who might use the research, trying to understand what were the problems, what are the timing, what would be the low-hanging fruit where we could really get a methodology. We also developed a me measure that was easy to understand, to communicate, so that policymakers could get the intuition and really feel that they could use the measure with some confidence. Um, and so that has been, from the beginning, one of our goals towards impact. Mexico became the first country to formally adopt an official multidimensional poverty measure as their national statistic. And from that point, we recognized that this could be useful in other countries, and so began consciously to try to support that demand. At 3% unemployment rather than 6% unemployment, you're talking about millions of people's lives being better through that. And if our better models help policymakers get better policy, then I think that's what we'd like to achieve. And the idea that we had of developing these very complex methods for handling an extremely large, complicated, evolving reality is we can build empirical models that are reliable, that tell you genuine understanding of the causal relationships in the economy. So, I mean, there's no point in publishing journal article after journal article saying, this is a great idea, unless people can actually use it. So the aim was always to produce very powerful, up-to-date but easy to use software and we have about two and a half thousand non-academic users around the world now. You've got to be willing to be flexible, you've got to be slightly shameless about it. I like to think of myself as being profoundly shameless uh, in the sense that you've got to like doing it. 
you've got to like being on the telly, on the radio, writing in the newspapers. I mean, I think it's, I find it very, very satisfying when if you write something in the newspaper within a couple of days, you'll have 10 times more comments underneath your article than you would get readers for an academic journal piece. I, I really enjoy that. If you can explain it to your mum in a way that engages her attention and makes it clear what you're doing, and so she goes away thinking, gosh, my child is doing something really worthwhile, that's the trick and that's what you do. Our research is designed for the, for the primary goal of having an impact and improving the lives of AIDS-affected teenagers in Africa. So that, that's what drives us. Take initiative, be inventive, and be committed to helping policymakers do the right thing. So ring them up, be there to help them. And once they learn to trust you, they'll realize that you can be an enormously helpful source for them.